Britain's 130-ton Brabazon airliner awaits its supreme test on the eve of her spectacular trial flight. Her enormous size dwarfs into pygmies, the band of technicians working on last-minute adjustments. The Brabazon has a wingspan of 230 feet and is 177 feet in length, the biggest civil land plane in the world. Brabazon's skipper is test pilot Big Bill Pegg, and he has a team of nine gallant experts as his crew. The pilot mounts the superplane for the preliminary trial, and the mighty engines spring into life. moment has arrived for the first taxiing trials along the one and three quarter mile runway at Filton. The opening stages proved successful, but on the way back to our hangar, the 12 million pound monster is held up at the level crossing by an impotent old stager. A striking contrast between the old and the new in modern transport. Next day, fire tenders escort Brab as she is about to undergo further tests on the runway. With the tests proving so successful, pilot Peg decided to take the mighty airship with wings up aloft. The supreme moment had arrived. Rising to 3,000 feet, the Brabazon, glinting in the sunshine, took on an unexpected beauty as she made a wide circle of the Gloucestershire Plain, before making a perfect touchdown with the smoothness of a falling feather. Let's hear what Big Bill Pegg has to say about his thrilling 27 airborne minutes. Now, as a result of those um, trials yesterday, um, we decided that uh, if all the conditions were suitable, uh, we would uh, have a go today. We turned around, we headed the thing in an easterly direction, let off the brakes, and she was off the ground in some 500 to 600 yards. Um, in fact, she was off so quickly that um, uh, it took me rather unawares. Britain's prestige in the air has been still further enhanced by this magnificent effort, a mighty inspiration for British air enterprise of the future.